All right, well, good morning, and thank you all for joining me. My name is Erin. I am one of the Solid Waste Authority um, education specialists. Um, our job is to give tours and presentations uh, about our facility and all that we have to offer. Um, during this troubling time, um, we've taken our programs online. So I thank you all for joining me. Um, if you have questions along the way, um, you feel free to type in the chat box. I can answer them there. All right, so first I would like to welcome you to AWAY. Um, we like to say that whether you flush it, recycle it, or throw it away, we put your waste to work. Um, today's presentation is going to focus on um, industry and nature and how they coexist. So I want to give you a brief overview and then um, go into a little more detail on that. So if you look at our map here, this is the map of Palm Beach County. And you can see that we uh, are a very large county. We are the largest in terms of geographical space. And we are also um, the third largest in terms of population. So we extend from Boca all the way up to Jupiter and then all the way out to um, Belle Glade. So that's a lot of ground to cover and it's a lot of waste to manage. And so the way we do that is um, we actually, you should see a video. Um, not working. Um, anyway, so the way that we do that is we contract out to our, um, to our, uh, I will fix that in a minute. So we contract out to different um, haulers, and so they come to your house, they pick up your garbage, and they take it to one of our six transfer stations right here. Um, so that cuts down on traffic, it cuts down on pollution, so they aren't um, hauling from all over our county. They're just bringing the garbage to that transfer station where it is transferred into our, um, into our uh, Solid Waste Authority um, up here at SWA. So um, I do have a video to show you that process. It's not working at the moment. I will work on that in a second. So first of all, how much garbage are we actually dealing with? So we do have about 1.4 million people that live in Palm Beach County. And so I'm going to challenge you guys to give me a number of pounds per day of solid waste that you think you throw away, whether you throw it away, flush it away, or recycle it away. So type that in the chat box for me. Give me a number of what you think it might be um, in pounds per day, uh, how much you think that we do. Any number works for me. I'll give you a minute. If you're not going to play my game, that's fine. All right. So it's about 12 pounds of solid waste per day um, per person. And if you do the math on that, that comes out to about 17 million pounds of solid waste every single day that we have to manage. And um, if you can see, uh, visualize this football field, imagine that it was piled 27 feet high with garbage. Um, that's what we have to handle. So there are a lot of systems in place in Palm Beach County that we do that. Um, we have our um, renewable energy park, uh, and this is our footprint. So if you look at this map, we have land, our two landfills. We have our two renewable energy facilities. We also have our um, home chemical and recycling center and biosolids pelletization and also our recovered materials processing facility. So um, that's, all of that is on our footprint. But what we also have and what is the focus of this is our trail system and our nature preserve. So if you see these lines down here, you can see that we have um, over five miles of nature trail and basically they're open from dawn till dusk. Anybody can come out. And the reason that we have those is to, um, because we have an endangered species. So that's why we have all of um, this nature preserve. We have the endangered snail kite. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in a moment. So um, real quick, all of that um, waste gets brought to us. And what do we do with it? So we have our recovered materials processing facility. That's where all your recyclables go. So in Palm Beach County, we divide it into two bins. Um, and then that material is brought up here to, um, to be processed, uh, sorted further, and then is sold to recyclers. Then we have our home chemical and recycling center. And that's where you can bring your hazardous materials that you might have in your home, whether it's old paint, light bulbs, um, 
chemicals, pool chemicals, um, propane tanks, that kind of thing. Um, we have one at every single one of our transfer stations, so you can go to the one that is closest to you. And then we have our two renewable energy facilities. So these are two um, power plants. They use garbage, they burn garbage to turn it into electricity. And they are actually right there next to our nature trails. Um, so uh, we, we have this massive industry right there. We create energy that powers 70 to 75,000 homes every year. And we also power all of our buildings on our um, property. And then we have our biosolids pelletizer. And that is our facility where we take all of the stuff that gets flushed down to your wa wastewater treatment plants. They send us the sludge, which is um, basically your number two. And we heat it up to very high temperatures and turn that into fertilizer. We actually use methane from our landfill. And so we like to say that our landfill is actually our last resort for um, solid waste. Um, because we want to recycle it or um, burn it if we can. Um, and, and then landfill whatever we have left. Um, we only landfill things that are too large to be burned or things that don't burn at all. And we, um, for our landfills, um, we like to call them our sanitary landfills. And the reason they're sanitary is that we take care of the environment around, um, you know, around us and below us. We put down these heavy duty liners um, and then we fill it up with, um, now it's mainly ashes, but um, before we had our two renewable energy facilities, we were landfilling a lot of garbage. And so now we um, landfill mainly ash, and when we reach 165 feet tall, we cap it off with more liners, and then we seal that so that um, nothing's getting in, nothing's getting out. And then we'll cap it off and turn it into um, a park, like Dyer Park, um, or we'll also turn it into a golf course. So Park Ridge Golf Course in Lantana is a golf course that offers some challenges with um, elevation. And so um, it's a lot of fun to go out and play, and we try to give it back to the community. Because we have opened up both of our two um, different uh, uh, renewable energy facilities, we, uh, our landfills will now stay open until the year 2050. They were supposed to close in 2020, but because now we burn 93% and only landfill 7%, um, we're able to um, we're able to keep it open longer, which is great because um, nobody really wants a new landfill in their backyard. So here's a map of our um, trail system. Uh, here you can see this is where our rookery is, and that's where the endangered species, the snail kite. Uh, is um, it roosts, and so this section stays closed most of the year. It is open from October 1st to February 1st, um, so it is currently closed. But the rest of our trails, if you look all the way through here, they um, it gives you kind of a nice aerial view of here's all of our power plants and all of that industry that we are engaging in, and then right next to it, we have massive amounts of wildlife. So um, some of the things you can see on our trails, um, this is our endangered species, the snail kite, um, and it eats apple snails. And then um, these are some of the uh, habitats that we have in our trail system. So we have the pine flatwoods. We also have a cypress hammock. And we also have a marshland. So it is um, gorgeous out there. There's lots and lots of wildlife to see. Um, Lots of flowers blooming. It's really, um, I encourage anybody to come out um, and take a walk if they need a little, a little nature boost. So some of the animals, um, we do see deer, uh, turtles, um, ibises and egrets. And then we have alligators for sure. Um, they love our um, wetlands. And the roseate spoonbill. Um, and then, uh, you know, we can just, we invite everybody to come out. Um, we usually have a, a trail run, a 5K trail run, that is now going virtual due to the current circumstances. Um, but we encourage people still to register, um, still to run. Uh, the trails are open. It's a great place if you're isolating. There's no one out there. Um, but we want everyone to stay safe. And we also ask you then, what can you do? And we ask you to reduce, reuse, recycle, but also rethink your waste um, and what you might want to um, or, or how you're going to 
take care of your of your waste. So like if you're going to go to the grocery store, grab those reusable bags instead of taking um, new bags. So the other thing that I did want to point out to you, if you go to YouTube and you go to our um, Solid Waste Authority uh, YouTube page, we do have a critter cam. Um, and we encourage everyone to check that out. There's a lot, you can see all of our wildlife there. Um, every month we upload the highlights. And so you can see the different, um, the different animals that we see. And we've got otters that play. We've got um, alligators that you can see whether they're walking by at night or in the morning. Um, and lots of deer, lots of raccoons at night. So um, it's really cool if you um, want to check that out. If you're not able to get out there to the trails at this time, but we do have that on our Solid Waste Authority um, YouTube page. So um, I want to thank those of you that have joined me today. Um, I would also like to put it out there. If you have any questions, please feel free. Type them in the uh, box down below in the chat box. I would love to answer them at this time. Um, if you don't have questions, I will give it another minute or two, and then I will, um, I will end the meeting. Um, currently, our trails are open from dawn until dusk, um, until we are um, informed otherwise. Any other questions? All right. Well, I'm going to thank everyone for joining me today. Um, I will be, um, or I'm here if you have questions, and if not, um, I hope that you uh, have a great day and stay safe out there.